Another thing that has also, I think, been plaguing me um, that was really enlightening to to learn about uh, is I watched this documentary called The Social Dilemma. And if anybody has seen it, highly recommend you see it. Um, I understand tech companies. I really have. I worked for one. I worked for one of the largest ones in the world. Um, and I always understood ads and tracking. Um, but I feel like that documentary gives you such a more like visual understanding of it. And they do these really funny skits where they like pretend to be the app and they have a bunch of like people in like a room. It's like the same dude. And he's like feeding up ads and and, like sending it in a certain way. And you kind of see how the algorithm works behind the scenes more or less, you know, they humanize it with human beings doing it, but obviously it's an algorithm that's kind of like, you know, basing off of your interests or whatever, of like, ooh, he looked at that ad for six seconds. Cool. Like, we'll send him more like that later, you know. And I think you get a really good understanding of it. And it made me realize that I'm addicted to social media, and I have been. And I open the apps way too many times a day, and I let notifications dominate my life. And I am really happy that now, after, you know, they give you a bunch of advice at the end of it. And one of the pieces of advice was like, turn off notifications. So I turn off notifications for all the apps. I, the only things I have notifications on now for are like phone calls and text messages. Um, but Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that, I just turn notifications off because I don't want it calling my attention when I don't really need to. You know, when I want to open the app, I'll open the app. But I don't want the thing just like poking me, especially because I would get notifications that were like bullshit just to get me to open the app. Like Facebook would just be like, they, they would say I had a notification, I would open it up and then it would be like, build your audience for the cosmic perspective or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, dude, that's not a notification. That's just you saying you want me to pay you money to advertise, which I, I've only done like once. So I'm, I'm just like, dude, fuck that. So after I've turned that off, I really do open the apps less and I definitely am on my phone less, which I think is really important. I think that was also part of my mental health was like, in addition to wanting to seek validation from people through my content, um, I was also seeking validation through the social media and, you know, posting stuff and wanting to get likes and whatever. And it's just the wrong motivations, man. I mean, I think at the end of the day, that's just what it was. So, you know, I'm, I'm in a place where I don't know that I, you know, it's not like I feel great. It's not like I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm super happy and I'm not going to put on a fucking fake face for you, man. This has been a really hard year for me. And this has been uh, a, quite a journey that I've been on. But it has been rewarding. And the deeper I go into myself and search uh, within my heart for, you know, the type of person I want to be and what I want to do, the harder it gets. The bigger the demons, the more clever they are the um, more hidden they are for sure and uh, the darker my vision but one of the things that I can say is that you know a little bit of light can eliminate a lot of darkness and uh, I just want to be an illumination man I just want to light up a little section of darkness in this world and if somebody gets some value out of what I'm doing then that then it's doing its job and I'm doing this for me as a cathartic thing and something that I enjoy doing, but I'm also doing it for you. I, I want, ideally, in an ideal world, I want people to get value out of this. You know, I don't want people to just listen to me and blindly follow me. I don't want that. I want you guys all to be critical thinkers. I want you to call me out if I say something stupid. I also don't want to be canceled for making a mistake. I think... Um, I think that's where we have a bit of a problem in our culture where we're like, you know, for some people, some people do some things that are really egregious and I don't think anything is ever not redeemable, but you know, some people deserve to be punished for a little bit of time, but you know, we should allow people to learn and grow from their stuff. And as long as they demonstrate a true recognition of the problem and a true growth from it, right? Like, you know, you know, when somebody's being authentic and when they've really learned. So, you know, I'm not going to be a perfect ally. Okay. Um, like I said earlier, like Black Lives Matter, I support, you know, all the social justice movements. I really do. Um, I also think sometimes the people advocating for these things end up hurting their cause because they're just like, and I'm not saying you got to be nice about it, right? For certain things, nah, you got to put your fucking foot down and that's the only way you ever get something done. 
But there is a way to do it that will be more convincing to more people. And I think right now, like the strategy and the optics of the left is not good, even though the policies are really popular. And I think that disconnect is huge and is the reason why the left has not built a successful enough movement in America, because we pick these really fringe issues and we are really vocal about those issues. But it's like that's not the biggest fish to fry. And that's not the thing you're going to get the most people to agree on. And I think you need to start with the battles that seem like the most important and the most likely to get done. The rest of the cultural stuff, dude, that will come with people raising their consciousness. That will come with people getting smarter and getting more aware. And we can bring in that awareness. But shaming people for things that they didn't know, that they were ignorant of, but that doesn't mean that they're dumb, okay? People who don't know this stuff, they have a life. They have other things to worry about. You know, we can't have everybody be super knowledgeable about all these social justice issues. I mean, it's just, it's not possible. Not to mention, it's fucking stressful, dude. The more I think about that stuff, the more it stresses me out. The more I think about the pain and suffering in the world, the more I feel that pain and suffering in my life, you know, and that's too much for us to take. We were never designed to be able to take in the level of information that we have here in America uh, or really just that we have in the world right now that we can get from the Internet. It's just too much. It's information overload. You know, we have to pick just a few issues that we really care about and like put a real effort towards those things and trust in the process that there are other people who will be interested in the other issues and they will be in it enough to be able to cover all of that. And the truth is, is that there are, there's plenty of people for every single issue. There's plenty of people who are diehard enough to move the needle on it. Um, but we need to organize and we need to be more effective and we need to know where power is and we need to seek out that power and we need to take it. And we need to do it in the smartest ways, right? We need to figure out what committees do we need to be a part of, you know, who do, which districts are the most important for us to elect? Which judges do we need to get out uh, who are you know over sentencing our people of color? So there there are so many ways that we could be a lot more effective as a movement that I would love to see more true strategy and understanding of power and how it works, and also understanding messaging. You know, there's just certain issues that are really popular that you just you got to just nail on those. You know, run on the things that people care about. You know, you can't run on some really abstract or obscure issue that like, yes, it's important, but like, come on, guys, priorities, you know. Um, so, yeah, so the left, the left uh, actually has won a lot of good primaries that were challenging incumbents who were not good representatives, who were not real Democrats or like blue dog Democrats. Um, so it's nice to see that a lot of progressives have won the primaries and, and some of those are likely to win the general just because they're in a state that like, it always goes D. Um, so I'm excited to see the long term game where it appears that the progressive people are starting to get a lot more traction and they do really well. Um, and you know, with enough name recognition and enough support at a, at a certain point, you have enough people in Congress, you can start killing bills you know, that maybe aren't serving the people or you can get amendments put in that actually will be like good extra things because you could withhold your vote, even to people of your own party who are like part of the, you know, the corporate, the corporate Democrats and the sellouts and stuff. So I think we can do it. I think despite all the craziness and the chaos and Donald Trump basically trying to strip our democracy of being a democracy, which it already was an oligarchy anyway, you know, I think this is the moment of like, it has to get worse before it gets better. But I do think it will get better. And maybe that's the optimist in me. Maybe I'm being delusional. Um, but if we don't have any sort of hope, then, you know, why are we even trying? You know, we have to have hope. We have to cling to something. We got to believe in something. It really is important to believe in something. And for me, I believe in, you know, the, what does MLK say? That the arc of justice bent or whatever it is, it bends towards justice. Um, yeah, dude, I hate when I butcher quotes, but I'm not Jason Silva, dude. Jason Silva could fucking remember every quote from every book he's ever read. Uh, I, I can't do that. I can do that with lyrics, though. Um, so, yeah, man. So I, I think right now I'm, I'm really happy that I have come to this moment of clarity and understanding of some flaws within my own thinking 
and my own perspective. And despite all the work that I had done and all these things that I thought that I knew or I thought I understood, to still realize that I, I didn't know anything and I still have an incomplete picture. Uh, but hey, that's part of it, right? We're human. And we are never going to know everything. And we're not always going to know what the next best answer is or the next best step to take. Um, but as long as we're seeking and as long as we take a moment to listen and to listen to your heart and not your mind, um, you'll find that answer, you know, 